Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Nemesis Warbringer Mars Alpha Nemesis Volcano Cannon. It's right here in this box and uh, usually the only way of picking this up is by ordering the Nemesis Warbringer Titan and that's where I've uh, picked this up from. Uh, it's from that kit. Uh, but if you're able to go to uh, Warhammer World in Nottingham in the United Kingdom, then they do sell both this and the Quake Cannon separately. I think when I purchased the Quake Cannon uh, separately, because all of the items were, were separate when the Warbringer first came out four years ago, um, it was about 100 and 20 or something like that about 120 this volcano cannon is about 200 pounds so i don't know what's going on with the pricing um in terms of that i don't know why they're charging way way more um for essentially a smaller weapon in my eyes both the volcano version and the quake version of the nemesis are the same price um you know at time of recording they're 819 pounds um, no doubt they would have had the 10 percent increase by now so you're now probably looking at about 900 pounds um they are closer to the warlord titan than Ariva in terms of size uh and the build uh, the build is quite nice um if you asked me, Super, what would you rather build, a Warhound, Reaver, or a Warlord or Nemesis? I'd pick uh, either the Warlord or Nemesis. They're much better kits. Um, they go together better, and the instructions are just fantastic. Whereas the Reaver and Warhound are really showing their age. They're almost 20 years old. Uh, the Warhound's almost 20 years old, and the Reaver is um, over a decade. So it's almost 15 years old now. So let's... Uh, unbox this this is the uh, volcano cannon the rules are terrible um let's not beat around the bush here they're, they're not that good um you know do you really buy these miniatures though these massive thousand pound miniatures for the um rules if you are i do question that uh because you know for a thousand pound you can get quite a few competitive meta armies uh for the same price which you can use all the time in so many different games. Whereas these are very specialized, unique. Um, you're rarely gonna use these in games uh, unless you've got other uh, friends who also collect uh, Titans. Anyway, I do go on a, on a bit um, recently, but uh, this is uh, the items themselves. That looks, doesn't look too bad. Is the cannon itself the volcano cannon so plenty of detail on that and um, it looks very similar to a uh, bellicosa volcano cannon I think it's a little bit smaller I think it's a little bit smaller it's been ages since I put one together but uh, that's the cannon this is the turn style um, it looks exactly the same as the um, Quake Cannon one. You know, it's got the front shielding and the side shielding. It's got the grates and the uh, doors. Uh, it's got this flash, which you're gonna need to, you know, take off carefully. Um, you've got this, which has been packaged quite nicely. Oh, plenty of bubble wrap in here. Um, yeah, sometimes these are gonna be a bit bendy, a bit wobbly, their armor plates, hairdryer is fine, but this looks all right. Um, it's a bit matte, which is great, uh, but don't be fooled, I'd always uh, wash these in warm water, leave them in, in to soak. Uh, and then you've got this piece as well, which the cannon uh, will go on. I think sort of that way. That's how it's gonna sort of go on. And it's quite a long, thick weapon, not as big as the uh, Quake Cannon, of course. Um, and I do prefer the Quake Cannon. Let's put that out there. Um, this is one of the bags, and then you've got a blister pack. 
it was made 22nd of February, so very, very recently. Um, I'm shooting this in March, uh, like really early March, so that gives you an idea of how long these videos take sometimes. Um, nice brand new uh, instruction guide for the uh, Volcano Cannon. Um, there are all the parts there. 24 unique parts, um, but 32 actual parts, because some of them there, there are multiples. And um, yeah, you just put the capacitors uh, through there, and it says repeat this stage for the left capacitor. Uh, you put the barrels on, the gun cowls, the conduits, the, the trunnions, that's what these things are called, trunnions. That's what it looks completed. Uh, and then they say, don't glue um, glue it on there. Uh, I, I'm not sure why, because the weight of it does, you know, does drop it. Um, I would say pick a, pick a pose and, and stick to it. I would, and that's what I did with the Quake. Uh, and then that's the assembly. Um, so it's great that, you know, you can get this turnstile and you can swap it with, with the Quake one, uh, especially as you can magnetize these. Again, not sure why you really want to do that unless you, you know, super excited about the pose because you should be magnetizing your main weapons anyway. Um, so it's not like, you know, you've glued your main weapons and you just want to swap the carapace weapon uh, about. Uh, but, you know, there is that option. I would also magnetize the cabling that runs from the uh, capacitors um, to it, uh, which they show right here. Um, it says there is space to insert a magnet um, to allow the weapon system to be detached to assist with transpiration or to change the weapon. So yes, I would magnetize this, this assembly at the back um, if you can. Those cables are gonna be kind of molded in one way um, for one position of the, uh, of the weapon. So it might be worth picking your position, gluing that weapon in, in its you know, angle, uh, and then heat treating the cables, uh, and then magnetizing them, um, and then everything's sort of gonna uh, line up. Let's have a look at the other two um, containers. So right here, we've got this bag of parts. So you've got the capacitors, Bit of flash there that we need to get rid of, and inside there, that's not too bad. Um, I do like the detailing. This is a new kit, 22nd of uh, February. Um, some air bubbles, so a bit of liquid green stuff, that'll be fine. No slippage on there though, which is brilliant. Um, yeah, looks like a nice, nice mold. Uh, some air bubbles there, some flash. No slippage on that flat bit though. Rivets are looking lovely and pronounced. Um, I'd much rather have air bubbles all along here, uh, which are easy to connect, than like flash that joins it. Much rather have that. Uh, these are the two supports um, for the Volcano. This one's a, on a bit of a wonk um, just here, so a bit of heat treatment. There is a bit of slippage there and there. That looks like it's going to be tricky to rectify and there as well but the, ri the ribbed area looks fine. Um, and you don't see that anyway, because that, they go kind of that way. So you see the ribbed flared things. These are the trunnions, which is a new word for me today. Um, yeah, they look great. Perfect, in fact, I think I had more issues on my Quake. And then this is the armor paneling at the front. That looks great too. So that's, uh, that's that bag. Uh, let's have a look at the smaller pieces in this blister.
so you get some of the connectors uh, for the cabling for the capacitors you get these more co more connectors um, more cabling uh, this is where the magnets go as well uh, for supports uh, for the top um, turntable and more there uh, these are the cables themselves so these as I say they're in one one position one mode um, so I would strongly suggest you kind of heat treat them to get them in the desired position and then you can magnetize away uh, these are the magnets that you're going to need to use you don't necessarily need to use like all five or six um, but I would <laughs> um, because these are the things that are going to hold it uh, in place um, you've got this these that connect to the uh, trunnions they look like very decent uh, molds actually no issues there normally you get like uh, slippage all around the the edge uh, this is the volcano cannon uh, barrel end it's up to you if you want to drill all the way in there I don't I paint it black and um, it's deep enough that you you know you don't get that shine uh, and then there's some more piston type things so there you go that's all of the pieces um, Again, I would question uh, if you were trying to, you know, pick this up separately for it to cost the £200 or so. But then again, if you compare this, uh, which is quite a big main weapon, um, to, well, just, just to a normal um, Warlord weapon like a Quake Cannon or uh, even the Carapace weapons, um, this does have quite a lot of parts and they're big pieces too. It has, it's not just the weapon, um, which is what like the normal warlord, warlords and things have. There's a couple of other big pieces in this as well, such as more cabling, um, such as a big turnstile piece, which is quite a thick, big piece. Um, the trunnions and the capacitors as well. So there's like three sort of um, main parts to this. Uh, as well as all that cabling and, and connections and things. So so you do get a fair amount with this kit. But what do you guys think? Um, I'd be interested to find out your uh, opinions. I, of course, I will be building this uh, along with the other uh, Nemesis um, soon. Now I'll try and do like a live stream or something for it, uh, for everyone. Thank you again, everyone, for all of your support and um, contributions. It really does help the channel out. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor protects.